what's up my biscuits it's your girl Espada, and today i am back with another video um today i'm going to be ooh, um today i will be doing a story time yeah um this is my first weekend staying home here um boring the most fun i had was my practice for the school play oh yeah guys i don't know if i told you but I made it um we're doing Antigone um my pull is upside down yeah so I made it um gracefully I was not sure if I would um and I actually really really like the director like she's really cool I think I think I remember telling you guys this already I don't know I can't remember so okay oh well you heard it again um Today I'll be telling a story time about the time I stayed back in the seventh grade. And then next I have to do a get ready with me. I might do a get ready with me on Wednesday. But anyway, today I'm telling you that story. So put on your seatbelts, buckle in, and let's go for this ride. Okay, so I stayed back in the seventh grade i was living in new brunswick at the time um so i went i was going to a i don't know if you would call it an elementary school because like it had like pre-k um elementary and middle school all right there so i i don't know what you call it i can't remember it was community school basically so um into that school um <clears throat> and pretty much it was pretty breezy there for the most part until i got to the seventh grade and me i asked a lot of questions because i stay back because of my math class let me start by saying that um so i had this math teacher still to this day if he works there i would love to see him in his face and be so mad oh I just, <laughs> but anyway um Since I had him as a math teacher, I like to ask a lot of questions. Usually, I had a student, okay, I had a student assistant. Not a student assistant, like, you know what I mean, like, another teacher who's there supposed to be helping me and a few other students. But he wasn't much help, ever. Like, I had him for years, and he wasn't much help, ever. He literally would sit and just, like, he would, like, write stuff or look at other stuff or be on his phone like never really pay attention to us so that was that like if the teacher needed help with something then he'd help but other than that he didn't really pay attention to us but oh anyway he was cool he was a cool person um so um i always would ask questions and even i would ask my student like the the teacher the second teacher questions too sometimes and he would help me he would explain to me sometimes but this day the assistant teacher was not there and so or like he, he was coming in late so he's going around he's teaching he's teaching and I'm like okay I have a question like he's asking if we have questions and I kept asking questions and I asked a lot of questions, especially with math, because I'm heavily confused. So this is like, this is happening in the second, no, the third um, marking period. So it was like, you have to pass at least three, you know like you know you have to pass at least three to go to the next grade so it's second mark period i mean third mark period 
and I'm asking him questions because I'm really confused. Like I barely just passed second marking period, but I did pass. And now I'm confused. Like I'm I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. Asking for help and he's usually like kinda helpful. And the thing is, this man's breath stank. Like his breath smelled like boo-boo, doo-doo, like mmm. Like you would have thought his teeth was rotten in his mouth. His breath stank. So bad. So if I'm asking you for help, no. That's like, I really need help. Because a lot of kids don't ask you for help because your breath stinks. I wouldn't go to you if I didn't need your help for real, for real. Because I don't want to smell that. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to pass out. So, I'm asking for help. And he didn't really help me. So, he like kind of gave like little hints. And he's like, and then that's when they just came out with the ask three before me rule stupidest rule i hate that rule to this day that rule is stupid it's dead to me i will never i never did that rule even when it was given to me i never did it because no are they the teacher are they getting paid to teach me no so no bump the three i'm asking you i don't want to ask the three they're students just like me and the thing was the group that i was sitting with because we always sat in groups usually um or in roles but like you had like people to work with like in your area um i'm asking them they were just as confused as me so i'm asking you now so he decided he was gonna yell at me all that hot fire breath yell at me in front of the entire class and i was like okay like because you can imagine i was embarrassed but i didn't retaliate i didn't put on a show i didn't do nothing I was just like, oh, I did retaliate. Retaliate. Well, I can't even say it. Retaliate. I did, but in a different way. So, I didn't put on a show. Nothing. Chilled out. Stop asking questions. I just sat in class. And then I stopped doing, that's when I stopped doing homework. I stopped doing classwork. I stopped doing everything. Like, I would only do stuff if it was stuff where we could work together. Because then the assistant teacher would always try to help me and try to help us. So that's when I was like, I was like kind of like halfway doing my work. I was completely doing my work because I was over it. I was like, you're not going to mm, no, it's not what we're doing. You're not going to yell at me because I'm asking a question. You're a teacher. So I was, I was beyond mad. So then um, I stopped asking questions. So you know it's the third market period. So I failed the last two market periods. I stopped doing tests. And he was like, why aren't you doing your work? And he started asking me questions. And I just look at him. He asked me for answers. I just look at him. Asked for the homework. I just look at him. I don't got it. I don't, I don't care. Even if I did do it. Half time I didn't show it to him. No, I didn't care. I stopped caring. Because you didn't care. So if you, if you don't care to help me, I'm not going to do the work. Because there's no point in me doing the work. I don't know how. I don't know how. And I express that to you, and you're not understanding. So, you can keep your work. Don't give it to me, because I don't want it. I'm not going to do it. It's going to be wasted in my bag, sitting, chilling in my talking book bag. So, flash pass to the summertime. I did summer camp, play safe. I'm just chilling. And it was so weird. Before I tell you about PlaySafe and stuff, let me just tell you something that was so weird. I had this teacher in the fifth grade, and she moved up with us every year to keep up with, like, our class. Because, like, we really, like, grew based on her. Like, Miss, Miss Wainwright. I went to McKinley Community School. Miss Wainwright. If she's still there, love her to death, love her kids too. Her kids used to sub there. Shout out to all the teachers that ever taught me how to deal with me. Because God knows <laughs> I was a mess. Still am. Oh, well. <laughs> Live my best life. Mid college. <laughs> a lot of them thought, not a lot of them thought I wouldn't. But some of them thought I wouldn't. And my math teacher was one of them. Oh, well. Don't care. Huh. <laughs> so, um. 
she came up with us. So, like, she had me in fifth grade. And she would sit with us and help us so much. And then sixth grade, she came. She was my teacher again. She, like, requested me to be in her class. Kept up. Didn't fail. Seventh grade comes. And instead of bumping her up to seventh grade, they bumped her up to eighth. She was to teach, like, honors eighth grade and then regular, a little bit of regular eighth grade. Like, one class. I was mad. Because I was like, I don't, I don't know any other teacher's style, really. No other teacher has really gotten me to understand, understand math. That's when multiplication and division went out the window for me. Because I can't, like, to this day, I can barely multiply and divide. Because I, like... It just, it just changed, and I can't learn from every teacher. Like, I have to find a different method for every teacher. So, when she would teach, it was like, okay, okay, okay. And then got him. Didn't understand. Couldn't do anything about it, though. So, that's when I failed halfway through the year. And then that was that. I got failed the last half, and that was that. So, that's when they started Saturday school. And since I was failing, since I was failing, if you're failing a class, like a major class, you have to do Saturday school. Saturday school was kind of cool. They gave us McDonald's in the morning. They, like, they made, they, t they took very good care of us. And then they put me in, like, you know, class with kids below my grade. But it was like, okay, whatever. But, like, a lot of my friends were at Saturday school, so we were all at Saturday school. Um, so that was that. So I did my Saturday school, whatever. It didn't last too long, Saturday school. I wonder if they still have it. I'm not sure. Because I moved away. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was that. So then, second year of, sec of seventh grade. No, summer of the first year of seventh grade. That sounds so weird saying. But the summer of first year, I'm going to play safe, going to play safe, going to play safe, right? All of a sudden, I get this letter. And I opened the letter before my mom could get to it. And it was saying that I was being retained. And I knew what it meant. I, I knew what it meant. I knew exactly what it meant. Even some of those words that they used, I never seen before. I knew exactly what that letter said. I said, okay. Well, then hit the letter I didn't throw it away I didn't do I don't know I don't know where it is to this day but I, did, I know I didn't throw it away I know I didn't try to shred it because shredders in my mom's room I don't know what I did with the letter but the letter's gone um so going to play safe going to play safe going to play safe praying and praying and praying I prayed every day faithfully that yo I prayed every day that something would happen and it was an accident but back then you could request that a child be retained in that school you could request that a child be retained if they fail your class especially if it's a major core class and they feel you need to do it again it's not it's not like you could just like high school how you could just go back and do freshman math no you have to do the whole grade again so once i and it's not like i failed with straight i think i failed the third one with like a C or a D, I think a C, and then an F for the last one. Like I, I had no effort by the last one. Excuse me. So that was that. That was the basis of that. That was the end of that. And then I was trying, praying, praying. Nothing happened. I still ended up in that class. No, the first day of school came, and I walk into the gym, and everyone's like, yeah, we're in eighth grade, we made it, we're about to graduate, yeah, and I'm so excited, can't wait to get my cap and gown, I'm so excited to graduate, yes, 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 let's do it. They have us sit in lines, and then they call our names, for what grade, and what teacher you have. I had amazing teachers my second time around. 
except for one. Can you guess who? Yes, I had Mr. Levy. I should not be saying their names. But I had Mr. Levy again. End of story. We got to seventh grade and they're calling my name. I remember either Mr. Gill or Miss Buck called my name. Or Miss Buck was gone. So it probably was Mr. Gill or Mr. Gill. One of them left. Yeah. Called my name. And they were like, Miss Caruso. And she was in the seventh grade. She was an eighth grade teacher. So we were like, I was looking at her like, what? And everyone's like, what? You're still in seventh grade? And I was like, no, I don't know what he's talking about. Lying. I was lying. I was praying that was a mistake. So he was like, so Mr. Gill was like, okay, I'm going to take you to the main office. He took me to the main office. And I'm sitting in the main office now. And I'm like, as I walk in, I'm like nervous, like knots in my stomach everywhere. I was so nervous. We got to the main office, and as soon as I walked in there, first of all, everyone in that school knew me because I had th two sisters who went there as well. So they knew my older sister, they knew my younger sister, and they knew me. Everyone, like, they had my mama speed down. So anything, like, as soon as they saw my face, they knew my name. Like, as soon as we walk in there, they go, Sidarius so Sanderson? And they're like, yeah. And then he's like, yeah. And she's like, yeah, she's been retained. And I'm like, and I didn't cry. I was surprised because I wanted to. I didn't cry. I wasn't upset. I was just like, okay. I went and I went in that class. And I had teachers who all knew me already and loved me to death. I loved them too. I had amazing teachers in that school. takes a talent to teach literally so um then I'm gonna add a little twist at the end of this story okay so then I go and I did my set my second year of seventh grade it was a breeze it wasn't well it was a breeze yeah because I mainly knew all the stuff like it was amazing it was cool I really enjoyed it um <laughs> it's weird because it's like I had so much fun the second time around no yeah, it was fun, though. It was so much better than the first year around. Well, kind of better. But I still had the same math teacher. And that time, I didn't ask him no questions. I didn't talk to him. I sat by myself. I did my own work. I had some friends. And it was weird because there was one girl in the class that was in seventh grade who was even older than me. And I was like, and I stayed back. So how many times did you stay back? But I'm at my business. But what happened was I started trying my working early on his desk. Here you go. See on my face. If I needed help, there was a program called YSS. They were loyal to me. They helped me. They made sure I got through it. And that was it. That was it. And then the end of the year came. And I found out I was moving and it was time to leave. But before I left, I, me and my young sister applied for Advid. We did our interviews and everything. Me and my little sister got our letters being accepted into Advid and found out we were moving. She would have been an Avid for seventh and eighth grade. I would have been an Avid for eighth grade. And we were good. We would have been so good. I still have that letter to this day. But when I tell you I was upset when I got into Avid and couldn't even do it. Because literally the people who had to accept me, it was Miss Cephas. Was Mr. CNC on the I can't I don't know. Miss Cianci might have been there, not Probably, but I definitely remember Miss Cephas, 
and Mr. Stackus, I think. Them two were definitely there. So when I got accepted, it was crazy. Because I had them both as teachers. So it was like they knew my exact capability. But I didn't think I was still going to get in. I didn't think I was good enough. I got in. I was like, whoa. And AVID, I think AVID represents different things at different schools. But AVID at this school, at that school, I believe, it was like an honors, honors like program. So if you were an AVID student, it was like basically honors in that school. Some schools, is, it represents like help, like educational help. But our guards was like honors. And we had to keep, I think, above a C plus. Yeah. We had to work, 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 work. So when I got in, I was like, whoa. Yeah, it was very, it was very interesting. But that's the story of how I stayed back in eighth grade. There's not really much to it besides a stupid teacher and a stupid me. You know what? Did I yell back? Now I think about it. I don't think I yelled back. I didn't. I didn't. But stupid me, I was mad. And I let him win. He won. And I stayed back and here I am. In college. I honestly didn't think I was going to make it past freshman year of high school. So sad. Like, really? Honestly, the reason why I did it for the teachers in my elementary school because they really worked their butts off to make sure that we completely were good if you needed help they asked you to come after school they asked you for like they 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 put their all into it um i remember when i got like my i was like in fifth grade and still couldn't multiply um one of the teachers miss sanchez made me a multiplication cd that i still have somewhere in my house and sometimes I listen to it it was like you know let it rain and bring it and let it rain and clear it out but it was like zero times one zero times two zero times three zero times four is zero 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 <laughs> it was great I loved it I wish I could be a kid but anyway guys it's like 22 minutes so I'm done wasting your time if you made it to the end of this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you are old, most of you are not. <laughs> um, but please keep coming back. Also, let me know what I can do better. I like criticism, but don't be like, you're fat, you're ugly. Because guess what? I don't care. I know both of those things. Huh. Oh, and ignore my nails. They're horrible. I'm actually letting it chip off because, like, reasons. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Uh, bye.